Indian women they can Indian women can uh, Indian women always uh, wake up early in the morning and they uh, they they do uh, they finish their homework all the homeworks uh, like uh, uh, cleaning of house and the the uh, they, they take bath and uh, and then uh, then they uh, they, uh, they prepare their breakfast and uh, it in and many works uh, uh, the indian women do in the morning time and after that the the morning time is very uh, useful for uh, uh, useful for the uh, the uh, late night uh, the people who, who sleep very uh, late at night uh, mostly people uh, come late night uh, for their uh, from their duties and after some of uh, some of the pers some of the people after uh, came late come late after after watching movies and uh, after uh, after after parties uh, and uh, they uh, they cannot uh, they cannot sleep uh, at night so they can utilize their morning time for uh, for better sound sleep mm. so it is very useful for everyone and it is good for those who want to take exercise yes yes yes, yes. For exercise. okay <coughs> questions uh, questions uh, is also from uh, morning routine morning routine or uh, from the tense i tense is uh, tense is uh, continuous tense is continuous per and perfect hmm. perfect okay. so have you written i have written some uh, con continuous tense is here uh, how uh, what are you going uh, when are you going to wake up in the morning tomorrow so i am going to i am going to wake up at uh, at 5 at 5 am in the morning tomorrow and uh, when are you taking your breakfast in the in the morning i am I am taking my I am taking my breakfast at uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. And uh, are you taking tea today? Mm. No, I am not taking tea today. Uh, uh, I am not taking tea today. And are we going out out today? Mm, yes, we are going out today we are going to visit Taj Mahal today mm. is she reading newspaper right now mm. yes she is reading newspaper right now uh, uh, in, 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 her, in her room mm. yes okay uh, you have written uh, very few questions, not many. You should write at least 20 to 25 questions. Okay. okay. Hmm. Today I tell you a new topic. 
for speaking okay and that is why i don't go to stadium why i don't go to stadium to watch a cricket match do you see it did you, did you see the topic yeah i can see so this is the topic why i don't go to stadium to watch a cricket match it's a topic it's my experience but i am speaking it in present tense so listen to me carefully hello yes yes i am it is showing poor network connection can you hear my voice yes yeah. hello Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I tell you that. Okay. Mm. If it's a cricket match in my city. Okay. And if I have decided to watch it in a stadium, and mm. usually match starts or begins at nine a.m. in the morning, if it is one day mm. match, then you know I get up at five a.m. and i get ready and uh, i leave my home at 7 because mm -hmm. uh, the roads are crowded and uh, we hardly get any you know convenience to reach there so we take our scooter to reach stadium so it is crowded we reach there at 7:30 we park our sco scooter there it's a long queue to park the scooter after that we stand in the long queue to enter the stadium so yeah. you know 30000 people 30000 you know the yes yeah. students or you can say the people who want to see the match they stand in the queue to enter the stadium and only a stadium usually has you know four to six gates to enter Yes, yes so <clears throat> i stand in the queue to enter the stadium again it's a very long queue it takes at least an hour to enter mm -hmm. so when i enter the stadium it is already 9:30 match mm -hmm. has already started as i have got general ticket so i have to stand on the you know stairs so there is no number for that so it is crowded i hardly manage myself to find a place to sit down i sit down and i just start watching it and uh, it is very hot there you know so i feel hot and i feel little uncomfortable there and you know the water packets foods nothing is allowed to yes. take inside the stadium so i when i feel thirsty after some time i get up from my seat and i go to the water uh, stall again it's a long queue i wait for some time i take that water packet some food packets and come back i find that my seat is occupied by someone and then i look for another place to sit down so actually i i i keep busy in doing all that means going to take water packets food packets i go to urinate or sometimes i feel hot so it is very uncomfortable mm. atmosphere there means i cannot enjoy the match uh, okay. instead i am busy in making myself comfortable there so in the evening when uh, match gets over i come out of the stadium 
I pick up my scooter from the parking and then uh, it is very much crowded. I take an hour to reach my home. And after reaching my home, I feel very, very tired. Oh. And uh, I feel tired for next two, three days. So mm-hmm. I decide not to go to stadium to watch a cricket match. And I, when I compare these two situations, watching a match in stadium and at home, I find that watching a cricket match on television in home is uh, far better or you can say it is far better to watch a match in, in our room or it is very comfortable because you can sit under fan, you don't feel hot, whenever uh, you feel thirsty, you can have water, you can have food, it is very comfortable. Mm-hmm. situation and you can see match clearly you know replays and all it is very uh, nice to watch mm-hmm. a cricket match on television that's why i have decided not to go to stadium to watch a cricket match mm-hmm. in my life so i don't go to stadium to watch a cricket match i watch it on television if Tell i you. want to so this is the topic for you to speak in present tense. Okay. Okay. So not now. If you wish, you can yeah. speak it later. But uh, write it down in your own words. That will help you to practice writing also. Okay. Okay. So now let's move to some other things. And then, okay, first let's complete some grammar portion, then we'll have speaking. How you go? How you go? Yeah, remaining. Actually, remaining part of that present perfect, I have already told, have you been? That is an important part of that, and so far and yet I have told you, and have you got? I am telling you, and on, uh, you may watch, follow me, ninth program. To understand, have you got in a, in a better way? Did you search program? Follow me on YouTube. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, follow me. I, I, I was to, uh, first, first, uh, first series of that session. What's your name? Uh, the name that of was, this no, is. No, no, can that, you have? Can you have your name, please? Ah, yes, yes. That and, the first. And 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 yes, that is fun. And first and. Uh, the line they use uh, oftenly in that uh, video mm-hmm. that is sometimes, uh, it, sometimes. yes he he enter he enter he enter in the uh, uh, in in the in the office and he said i want to see mr matthews i want to see mr matthews so uh, what is the actual sense of this sentence i want see, to see see means milna Okay, Milna. C means Milna. Can I see Mr. X, please? Mm. See you tomorrow. Kal milte hai. Milte hai. Uh-huh. Milna milte hai uh-huh. means. Yeah, I want to see Mr. Matthew. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So you will yeah, enjoy like... that program. Watch it, okay? Yeah, I will watch uh, one, one lesson one day. Uh-huh. Yes, it's good. So let's talk about have you got in present perfect. It's very common in Patel. If you know it, if you use it, you'll be able to speak lot of sentences in English. Like suppose I need a pen from you. I am working here and you are sitting in front of me. I need your pen. I say, have you got a pen? Have you got a pen? It means I need your pen. Instead of saying that, may I have your pen, please? It's very formal. But you are my student, I am sitting and I am writing some. Have you got a pen? Means, kya aap mirko apna pen denge? Have you got a pen? Aap, yes, yes. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, like like we don't have to we don't have to say uh, describe full line like do you have a pen and can I no. have your pen no, 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 like no, that no. 
no need to mm. they are formal but it's very casual have you got a pen oh here it is or oh, here you are you can say both here it is here you are yes here you are i can say yes here you are yes here it is okay so this is common have you got and when you suppose like say i have got a job i have got a t-shirt i have got a new t-shirt means maine khareedi hai i have got a new t-shirt i have got a new job clear like suppose sometimes you say uh, can i borrow your scooter suppose sometimes we say can i borrow your scooter for an hour please I, okay. and you answer sorry when you answer someone in uh, in negative means your answer is negative that time you say i am afraid okay i am afraid i am afraid when your answer is negative we say i am afraid somebody is asking for your scooter like uh, can i borrow your scooter for an hour you say i am afraid my brother has got my scooter so has got so my brother has got ab instead of saying that my brother has taken my scooter my brother has got sorry brother i am afraid my brother has got my scooter i have got a house means my brother denge hmm means my brother denge scooter or my brother le gaye ha yes mera bhai le gaya hai ya mere bhai par hai hmm the has got have got bada common like you, when you go to any hotel you ask have you got a table for two have you got a table for two suppose you are two you and your brother you want to have food in a restaurant at time you ask that manager have you got a table for two yes sir and he answers yes sir we have got a very nice table for two so we have got okay we have got and you ask have you got chinese food or have you got indian food yes have i have got, got indian food yeah mm. have you got chapatis have you got rice like this Mm. have you got lassi whatever it is and okay. instead of uh, we can say would you take is it same sense would you take chapati or would you have would you take would you have oh. he is asking he can ask okay. but you are asking aapke paas hai kya chapati hai indian food hai have you got aap bolo wo request karega aapko tab bolega would you like to have wo वो थोड़ी पूछेगा आपसे okay. तो आप पूछेगा वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू हैव सर वुड यू लाइक टू हैव तब आप हैव यू गॉट इंडियन फूड उसमें आप क्या लेना चाहेंगे वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू हैव आपने कहा वी वुड लाइक टू हैव इंडियन फूड या आप कहेंगे हैव यू गॉट इंडियन फूड वेन यू गो टू एनी शॉप any vegetable shop food shop any stationery shop you ask have you got envelopes envelope hai kya ab envelope hai kya to aap kaise bolo bhaiya envelope hai kya aapke paas bhaiya aloo hai kya aapke paas to aloo hai kya to kaise poochoge have you got okay theek hai Yeah. Have you got envelopes? अब उसने कहा हाँ है एनवेलप है हमारे पास आपने कहा एनवेलप है क्या हाँ सर है यस सर वी हैव गॉट एनवेलप्स 
अब आलू वाले से पूछा आलू है क्या भैया तो अब आपने पूछना है कि कैसे दिए भैया तो हाउ मच इज इट हाउ मच हाउ मच इज इट आपने पूछा हाउ मच इज इट उसने कहा ट्वेंटी रुपीज आके जी ट्वेंटी रुपीज आके जी एक अब आपने कहा ओके ऐसा करो दो किलो आलू दे दो ओके लेट मी है टू के जी ऑफ पटेटोज तो हमेशा के जी के साथ लीटर के साथ ऑफ जरूर लगाते हैं हिंदी में नहीं लगाते दो किलो hmm. आलू दो किलो का आलू नहीं कहते लेकिन इंग्लिश में कहना पड़ता टू के जी ऑफ पटेटोज आई नीड अ लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल यस आई नीड अ लीटर ऑफ पेट्रोल आई नीड टू के जी ऑफ पटेटोज ओके ओके टू के जी ऑफ पटेटोज हाउ मच इज इट इट इज फोर्टी रुपीज फॉर टू के जी ऑफ पटेटोज हैव यू गॉट इट्स अ वेरी वेरी कॉमन यू मे यूज एनी वेयर like my brother has got a new job and he has got a new bungalow too with it hmm uske sath bangla bhi mila hai my brother has got a new job he has got a new bungalow and uh, he has got all the facilities to ye sab aap have you got i have got he has got जहा कुछ नहीं लगे वहां लगा दो है समझ नहीं आ रहा सेंटेंस आई हैव गॉट अब जैसे आपने कहना है मेरे मैंने एक टीचर ज्वाइन कर लिया है और मैं आजकल इंग्लिश सीखा हूँ ऑनलाइन आई हैव गॉट अ टीचर यस सिंपल आप सोचना थोड़ी इसमें ज्यादा I am teaching English online. Yeah, I have got a teacher, and I I am taking classes online through Skype. I have got okay, so this is very common. Hmm? So use it as much as you can. Okay, and now okay. let's talk about present perfect. एक घंटे से आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ When time is there, it becomes present perfect continuous. Structure I am writing: subject plus has, have plus been plus we for plus for since plus time plus only. This is the structure. Now I have been talking to you for twenty minutes, for twenty-five minutes. But do you know the difference between for and since? Yeah, point, point of, of point, point of, of time, time and duration uh, of time. Hmm. So when it is point of time, like four o'clock, nineteen eighty, and like uh, morning, evening, night. and like uh, sunday it is point of time since sunday since 1980 since 2nd of march like this since 2 o'clock for 2 hours for a long time for 20 years like this 
So this is point of time and duration of time. I have been, but remember sometimes a trick is there in present perfect continuous. Sometimes sentence is there, but it doesn't look like a continuous, but it has time. Like I have been a teacher for 20 years. I have been a teacher for 25 years. I have been a teacher for 24 years. Yes. I have been a teacher for 25 years. No, without no using need. before. There is no need. Hmm. How long have you been in Noida? How long have you been in Noida? Question. Kap se ho aap Noida mein? Aapneka, I have been in Noida for four years. I have been in Noida for four years. Yes. Okay. Right? Right. I have been, you have been, they have been. I have been here for ten minutes. Mm -hmm. I have been here for 10 minutes and waiting for you. I have been here for 10 minutes and waiting for you. Where have you been? Mm -hmm. Where have you been? I have been, I have been here for 10 minutes waiting for you. Where have you been? Where have you been? And had you been? Can we use had you been also? Okay. 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 Have you been? Okay. So this is like that. Continuous me hoga like jase you may take some examples like uh, I have been learning English for few days I have been learning English for a month I have been learning English for a month <clears throat> and I think I have improved a lot I have learned grammar I have learned how to speak good English, better English. I hope I will learn more in coming days. Now, see, all the sentences are connected. Step by step, small sentence, then next, then small next. I have been learning English for a month. I have learned a lot. I think I have improved my grammar. I hope I'm going to improve more and more by the time like this. To speak like this means you have to respect each and every word with proper uh, what I should say. At me, you have to emphasize on the words means her words ko ijjat deni her sentence ko ijjat deni like i have been learning english i have been learning up i will learn english for a few months aise nahi bolna rail gaadi nahi bhagana i have been learning i have been learning english for a month aapne sab ko ijjat de di 
I've been learning English for a month and I think I have improved my English. I hope I am going to learn more and more in coming days by the time. Simple. So practice it like this in your home. Like if you want to be a very good speaker, speak like that. Like I never go to stadium to watch a cricket match. Why I don't go to stadium to watch a cricket match, I tell you, listen to me. If I go to stadium to watch a cricket match, I have to get up early in the morning at 5. You know, match usually begins at 9. But I have to get up at 5. I get ready and I leave my home at 7. You know it takes half an hour or sometimes it takes an hour to reach the stadium. I stand in the queue to enter. It takes time again. It takes an hour sometimes or more than that to enter the stadium. I look for my seat. I find it, I sit down there, I try to make myself comfortable there, but I don't get any comfortable atmosphere there at all. It's very hot, it's scorching sun. I have no, I have got no water bottle or food packets with me. I have got, I have got no water bottle. Or food packets with me. I feel thirsty. I get up from my seat. I go to water stall. I again stand in the queue. Aram se bolo bilkul. Don't be in hurry or don't make haste. Like that. Aise practice karoge aap to fir jaldi aapko acha maja bhi aayega. It is very impressive. To speak like that, ki clarity aana chahiye har us time. Samaj aana chahiye. It should be comprehensive. Because you know, when you watch British English, they speak very clearly and very nicely. And uh, uh, British English is, you know, international language, not American. Of course. The people, they understand each other's accent. Mm. Britishers can understand Americans, Americans can understand Britishers, Australian, Canadian. It's okay. But may you have to focus on British English. Mm. It's very good, very impressive. I like it. I love it. So like this, you can speak. Okay. okay, so it's the topic for you to speak and this is present perfect, perfect. continuous and now it's mm -hmm. the time for us to have some speaking part. In grammar I have already told so write 10 to uh, 20 to 25 questions and write your topic stadium cricket match. Okay, so I ask you some of the questions. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, so you told me yesterday that you were. Ab suno dhyan se me kya bol raha You told me yesterday because it is in past tense. You told me yesterday that ab pura past me hi bolunga me present me hi bolunga aur you ko hi bolunga. You told me yesterday that I am going to start a new business. Wrong. I used it. You told me yesterday that I am going to start a new business. You told me yesterday that you were 
अब पास्ट में ही चला जाएगा वो यू टोल्ड मी ये स्टडी दैट यू वर गोइंग टू हैव अ न्यू बिजनेस ये प्रॉपर इंग्लिश है क्लियर हुआ डिफरेंस आपने मुझसे कल कहा था कि आप एक नया बिजनेस शुरू करने वाले हो हिंदी में तो बोल दिया इंग्लिश में कैसे बोलोगे आपने मुझसे कहा था कि आप एक नया बिजनेस चालू करने वाले हो यू टोल्ड मी यस्टरडे दैट यू You you were you were past me. You were you you were you were going you were you were going to start a new business. You told me yesterday that you were going to have a new business. Uh, you told me what you will you would do. Up there, go. I will not say anything. आपने मुझे बताया था कि आप उसके लिए क्या करोगे यू टोल्ड मी दैट वॉट यू वुड डू फॉर दैट तो विल नहीं वुड पास में वुड हो जाएगा यू टोल्ड मी दैट यू वुड डू कि आप क्या करोगे उसके लिए यू टोल्ड मी वॉट यू वुड डू फॉर दैट यू वुड टेक अ बिल्डिंग ऑन रेंट तो यू वुड टेक लोगे पास्ट में ही जाऊंगा मैं पास्ट की बात कर रहा हूं ठीक है आएगा चलो ये थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट है पर आ जाएगा तुम सो इट्स लाइक दैट ओके सो वेन आर यू गोइंग टू टेक इनिशिएटिव to start your business or have you means started process of that i have started some process for this plan but uh, uh, it will take some more time uh, like 5 to 5 to 4 to 5 4 to 5 months more because i have to finish my uh, another work also before that so okay. so <clears throat> you told me that you have got a sister so what is your uh, means uh, uh, brother in law is doing what is uh, his job uh, he has his own gym in 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 my district of city and uh, gym yeah gym is it a big gym yes it is a big gym and uh, uh, there he they he, he buy uh, he sell some uh, pr- product in the gym also like gym product and many more things of gym so is he trained by some is he certified by some uh, certificates of course and he has taken some courses in gym and all uh, no i think it is not uh, necessary to taking any certificate or no but um, actually when he is going to train people that to do exercise like that and some uh, you know certified trainer should be there yes so no need uh, no, no i don't know about the certificate training. actually so uh, how many means uh, students he has got students or clients what is the name oh yeah students uh, like uh, uh, he the people who come he, to take exercise mm mm-hmm. he has many students like uh, uh, the student the people come to the gym in the morning and evening time only not afternoon so there are there are two to three batches in the morning and same at uh, in the evening time 
He so, has got separate batches, batches for ladies. Not for ladies, only for boys. Okay. So how much uh, is he taking per per um, month per student? Per per student. Uh, I don't know actually price because my younger brother, uh, uh, he knows everything because he, he is also doing gym and he is interested in gym. I, I don't like gym and like that. So I, I, I don't take interest in you like uh, You like pranayam? Yeah, I like my uh, internal body, not uh, show of, of any body. <laughs> yes, you are absolutely right. That is important. Yeah. That is not important that you should have, you know, six packs, muscles yeah, yeah. and all. You should have, uh, means your organs, means uh, working properly. Working, working properly. Like your liver, your kidney, your heart, mm -hmm. and pancreas, everything should work properly in intestines. And when you yes. do some uh, you know, natural exercises like walking, yes. swimming, jogging, yoga, and all these, mm. these are very effective. But when you but, do some... But, uh, nowadays the generation is, uh, they don't think about that. <laughs> My younger brother also, I always... Uh, because they have, tell, to, you know, they have to make their muscles six pack, they want to show it to... Show it, yeah. show it to the girls, you know. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. I am right. just like Salman Khan and all. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, you ask me anything if you want to. Oh. Um, asking. Um, no, no, I asked that, that one thing. thing. I want to see you, Mr. Matthew. That's only one thing. <laughs> I so watch you. actually, yes, you watch yeah. and, uh, that. Follow me. It's very good program. And mm. uh, keep watching them one by one. And you will learn a lot by these. I will, I will you, watch it even properly. Even you will learn the way of speaking. Like mm. this. We, they always speak in that way. Means mm. they always emphasize the words, sentences. So you mm. will learn it. So do it. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. So see you again tomorrow the same time? Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the yeah, same the time. time. Okay. So you have finished your four lesson. Yeah, uh, yes, four, four lesson. lesson. And yes. this is, right. that would be your fifth tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so see you again. Do it. Okay. See you again. Okay. All the best. Okay, see you. Thank you. Thank you.